Well, most Americans drive every day, and some of them drive for a living, a lot of them actually, from cabbies to truckers to bus, bus drivers. Literally millions of Americans earn a living behind the wheel. But the driverless car will kill these jobs. Recently, Uber's driverless cars hit the streets of Arizona at the invitation of Governor Doug Ducey. Did he think about the consequences to American jobs? We asked him that question. Thanks for joining us, Governor. I appreciate it. I, I think I understand what you're trying to do with this driverless technology. California has too much regulation. Arizona has less. And so business naturally goes to Arizona. And you also think it's an interesting transformative technology. I agree with all that. But my question is, what's going to happen to all the drivers displaced by this technology? There are an awful lot of them. Well, Tucker, we're glad that companies that are innovative and breakthrough in technology are looking to Arizona versus California because we are yeah. more business friendly. We have less regulation, a better tax environment, and we have concern as well for jobs and what's going to happen inside of our, our economy. But uh, this sounds a little bit like what happened when Uber came the first time. Everyone said that this would, would hurt jobs, that it would hurt taxi drivers, and what we've seen is, is more jobs added to the the economy. So this is a test right now. They're testing this technology. They're actually hiring people so that they can sit in the front seat of the car. They're paying them $20 an hour so they can run the test. This technology isn't going to be ready uh, this year, next year, and likely the year after. There's many people right. that will never get into an autonomous vehicle. So we think this is good technology. You know, it also helps the disabled, the blind, the elderly, people that can't drive. So there's sure. a lot of conveniences that are possible here, but they haven't they haven't come to fruition yet. Right, and there's a lot that's good about it. But on the other hand, they're not going to be paying people to drive in autonomous cars for long. By definition, the whole point is to lower labor costs. And this is not Uber. The scale is different. I mean, in the majority of states, 29 out of 50, the single most common job is driving for a living. And I believe in this country, it's the single most common job for men with a high school diploma. So this is millions and millions of people who are going to be out of work if this technology proceeds, as it apparently is, why should government be making it easier for this technology to make people unemployed? Well, I don't think that it's government that's making it easier. What government is doing, what we're doing in Arizona is simply getting out of the way. This is technology that hasn't been proven out yet, but you can either embrace this technology as a state or you can try to shut it down. And in Arizona, right. we're going to be welcoming to new ideas. Okay, so the Obama administration has been subsidizing this through the Department of Transportation, and so they have every reason to pretend there's no downside, and yet a White House report from last month acknowledged that a lot of this country's most vulnerable employees are going to be out of work and that it will, <coughs> pardon me, increase income inequality. That's their position on it. So even they're admitting that. Shouldn't the companies benefiting from this do something, I'm not sure what, to alleviate the social dislocation this technology is going to cause. Well, the best thing to do in this type of situation is have an economy where jobs are being created. In Arizona, we've created, or the economy has created, 100,000 new jobs over the last two years. So we're doing some things right. We have openings in the, in the service economy as, as well. So in terms of what government should be doing to punish companies for new technologies, I don't know that that's something that I'm in favor of. I want to see an economy that's creating new jobs and opportunities for, so people People have options as we uh, right. have these conveniences yeah. and innovations come to us. But not all new technologies produce more jobs than they destroy. In fact, in the last 20 years, we've seen net job loss because of technology. I'm not against technology. It's cool. It increases efficiency, but it doesn't increase jobs or pay. So those service industry jobs you mentioned pay less than driving jobs on average. And so the people who make less are more dependent upon government subsidies. You know this as a governor. So more housing vouchers more unemployment insurance, more disability, more flat out welfare. The public bears those costs. We want to put people to work. We're have a, we have an economy that's creating jobs here. This is something we're testing here, Tucker. We're going to continue to test it, and we're going to continue to uh, attract jobs to, to our economy. And, we're, I mean, you're going to see some turnover uh, if, if this is successful, but I think you'll see other opportunities to maintain these vehicles. You'll see continual uh, people driving other people. Uh, so I, I, I'm hopeful as to what's possible here, but at the, the same time, this is the technology that's moving forward. Right. No, you're, you're absolutely right on all of that, I think, and you're optimistic, which I appreciate. But let me just ask you one question that I, I've been asking a lot of people recently, not just on TV. Who is thinking about 
what happens to all these people, not just the drivers displaced by autonomous vehicles, but by the line workers displaced by robotics, by physicians displaced by supercomputers, all the people whose jobs are going away because of technology, what are they going to do? And who's thinking about that? Do you know anyone who's thinking well, about it? I'm thinking about Arizonans every day and what's best for them, how I can create more jobs as our kids graduate from, from high school and, 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 and college. So this is going to be in a, in a unique and innovative economy. These opportunities are going to be there, but there's going to be some change, and we need to be thinking ahead about how we get people working and employed. Yeah, poor California. You're already stealing all their smart people. Governor, great We're to see you. We're going to continue. Thank you, Tucker.